I'm going to show you how to cook a spicy Sri Lankan style mango curry. For this recipe, I'm using um, some fresh mangoes. You can use either half ripe ones or the raw ones. Then the, this is only one mango. I'm going to use two cups of water, one onion, cinnamon, chilies, garlic, pandan leaves and actually I couldn't find curry leaves so you can add curry leaves too and um, a tablespoon of moldy fish flakes if you are a vegetarian you can omit this totally and a teaspoon of fenugreek powder a tablespoon of curry powder a teaspoon of pepper and a teaspoon of roasted Sri Lankan curry powder and um, half a teaspoon of chili powder and half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and I'm going to use some oil for frying the ingredients after to uh, make it really nice and spicy for that I'm using um, a tablespoon of mustard seeds chilies and garlic and onion and pandan leaves and cinnamon you can use curry leaves too and going to use coconut milk if you don't like adding coconut milk you can omit to co coconut milk totally from this recipe or you can add a little bit of coconut milk to give that extra flavor to start this recipe what I'm going to do first is to take a pot and add all the not all the ingredients uh, spices and the chili flakes garlic and onion cinnamon I'm leaving this this spice container to do it last and going to add the mangoes and add two cups of water depends on the size of the mango and I'm going to cook this on low heat adding enough salt so it's about five to ten minutes once the mangoes are nice and tender add the coconut milk and cook that about two minutes and add enough sugar to make the uh, balance the acidity of the mangoes I forgot to show you the sugar so I'm adding sugar to balance the acidity that will give us a nice um, taste to the mango curry once the mangoes are well cooked I'm going to add that into another bowl I'm going to use the same pot for frying the other ingredients so when the oil is hot add a tablespoon of mustard seeds and let it splutter once it starts splattering add the other ingredients and cook that until it's nice golden color once the onion are golden brown add the mix into the pot and cook that about few seconds and finish it off and I hope you will enjoy this curry thank you for watching